Okay, welcome everybody. Okay, first of all, my name is Jennifer Owen. I'm an international marketing director with the Juice Plus Company, and I am so thrilled about sharing this presentation with you all tonight. I've actually been talking about Tower Grounds for a long time, and last week I shared this and everybody really, really liked it. So my hope is that it will inspire you or get you really excited about what we got here um, so that you might, you know, invest in something like this for yourself or share it with family and friends. So I have been with the Juice Plus Company now for over 22 years. I'm a fitness trainer and Pilates instructor by trade. And prior to that, I was a litigation assistant. So I kind of wore many hats along the way. Uh, I have been very skeptic, uh, you know, in past. I've learned to have an open mind about things. And, you know, having an open mind has really blessed my, my life and my family's way of living. And Tower Gardens are a really big part of that. In fact, I would say, you know, I often say the Tower Gardens activate my activism in a nice, gentle way. So here's the deal. They really just make gardening easier, way more fun, of course, sustainable and uh, have access to food year round. This is real. All of these are super important right now. So I'm going to dive into what it all is, how it works, prices and everything. OK, so you will have a very clear idea about all things Tower Garden. If you have questions along the way, please feel free to go in the chat and I promise to get them at the very end. And, um, you know, again, my hope is that uh, it'll just kind of you know, inspire you to have the conversation about what growing food can do for you and your family. So this is where our journey uh, was actually full on. I mean, 2021, we were, I, we've been growing now for over 12 years. So you do the math. I'm not a math girl. But this is in 2021, like two years ago, right outside our back door. And you can see how lush and abundant and green this thing is. So it was literally tower to table. It's not just a thing we say. It's the truth. Like when I was cooking and, you know, uh, just being able to walk outside my patio door and pull clippings to, you know, put in a, a bowl or to top a dish off or whatever. It's, it's just so great. And I've got two tower gardens growing uh, right now now one in our front yard and one in our backyard and both are in full bloom ready to harvest all those tomatoes um and actually you know what we actually own five tower gardens as a family i've loaned two out to friends um and i have a tower garden home that i used to share at shows and stuff like that so it's really such a great thing uh, to be able to have this abundant food. My story with the Tower Gardens, really simple. Like I said, I've been with the company for over 22 years. In 2021, uh, the company launched the Tower Gardens and I was like, mm, too big, too clunky, too expensive and way uh, more work than our basic product, which is fruits and vegetables in a capsule. If you guys don't know, it's the Juice Plus company that is the company behind the Tower Gardens. So for me, this was just like so way out of you know, uh, what we were already doing. And I did not have a vision for what this was like. I really, I just didn't really want any part of this. And it was because I had teammates coming to me and saying, Jen, what is this? I had customers, I had people wanting to place orders. And I was like, I don't really know what these things are. And in order to have a genuine um, share, right? Because I don't, I won't ever tell or recommend people buy anything that I have not yet tried myself when people come to me for recommendations. And so I had a conversation with my husband and uh, we agreed, okay, we'll buy one, the most basic one. And when it doesn't work, we'll throw it in the garage and it'll sit up in the loft. And you know, we can tell people, ah, don't worry about it. You're not missing anything. And what happened is we fell in love. So it arrived at our front door. My daughters were six and nine years old. My eldest pulled that box in. And honestly, I thought she was just really excited about making a big playhouse with it. And the truth was is she pulled it out and she started building it like she was playing with Lego. And I was like, what? This is pretty cool because um, she innately understood how it worked. She was literally building it. And then my youngest and I, who was six then, we were planting the seeds together and she held up a cucumber seed. This is this was the game changer for me. This is this was my awe. She held a cucumber seed. We were planting seeds together and she said, Mom, how much food do you think is going to come from this seed? And I was like, oh, my God, like I've never thought about the I, I did not grow up gardening, guys. So to me, tower gardening was like totally new. I have, you know, no green thumbs happening in my you know lineage. And, and here my youngest, my baby is like, like breaking me out of my mold and challenging my brain to realize there is so much food that comes from a single seed. How amazing it is that we can 
give people a tool where they could grow food for themselves, for their families. And when the Tower Gardens were first launched, honestly, like it was just like, cool, it's fresh, chemical free food. And in the end, what's happening now, we see the cost of food, we see food accessibility issues. It's a really big deal. So am I excited about Tower Gardens? Oh my gosh, I can't live without my tower gardens. We grow year round. I live in Barrie, Ontario. It is the snow belt up here. And for over 12 years now, we grow again in the kitchen, in the basement, outside, front yard, backyard, ever. Like I just love growing food. You don't know how good your food can taste until you grow your own. And it's great in the summer we can, but the realization is that we only have about four to not even six months of growing season. So tower gardens allow us to grow year round. And if you're a teacher on this call, you know, the growing season opportunity to teach your students is very, well, you just miss it because of course it's summertime. So tower gardens allow you to bring that into the classroom and be able to teach your, your students hands on and not just like, hey, here's a seed, let's plant it. Like, here's a seed, let's plant it, let's harvest it, let's eat it, let's get creative with it right? I mean, my gosh, like, it's just, it's, it's expansive. And so this girl who had no expectations, no vision was definitely uh, pleasantly surprised. And the discovery that our family gets to experience because of Tower Gardens continues, continues. So I'm talking like, you know, the water issue, the, um, protecting our lands, you know, choices. Anyways, I'm going to get into all that in a second, but I just want to point this quote out to you because I really believe this is so relevant in our, our world today. A garden is a grand teacher. It teaches patience and careful watchfulness. It teaches industry and thrift. And above all, it teaches entire trust. And, you know, I mean, this is one of my cucumber um, vines that just spiral the night it's beauty it's a thing of beauty and I I think that in our world today it's really important for us to invite trust it's really important for us to invite patience it's really important for us to get back to basics so I know that the tower gardens have been referred to as the iPad of gardens and it kind of is so we can't we can't um close Pandora's box of technology but we can sure learn how to use it to make it work for our modern day living okay so, you know what, the history of aeroponics is, 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 it goes back so far with NASA, like to them, this is like old news, they've been growing since at least 1960, you know, their purpose was to basically do the research on microgravity and, you know, soil growing and food growth and all that. Um, so it's not really news, maybe for me, it was in 2011, I honestly, I didn't know anything about this kind of gardening. And maybe it is for you here tonight. You're like, wow, I didn't know about all this. So welcome. And it's exciting. So let's talk about it all. Because Disney World, if you've been the land pavilion at Disney um, is already growing tomatoes and potatoes and everything like, you know, you walk through it. I've never been but like, I've had people tell me it's just amazing. You walk through this tunnel of food growing from the ceiling down, which is now what we're used to growing. We're used to growing in the ground, right? But it was actually um, created, the Tower Gardens, uh, this, this concept was created by the lead horticulturalist there um, who saw this way of growing, was using this science and decided, you know what? Why not bring this into the homes of people like you and me? And I'm so grateful for Tim Blank because, you know, because of him, we have Tower Gardens growing all over the world right now. Um, now, if you don't know the Juice Plus Company, we are a um, an education led company. So in 2001, the Juice Plus Company officially adopted Tower Gardens as a product worthy of our mission. We got a pretty big mission. Our mission is to inspire healthy living around the world that will help as many people as possible realize their dreams. Oh my gosh, like I never thought I would be talking to people about growing food. I didn't even grow food as, you know, a child or teen or anything. I just, it's, I was so far removed from my environment. And yet here I am today sharing with you and hopefully inspiring you to consider this for yourself. But the University of Mississippi is the university that we reached, um, that we connected with about doing our study. And this is a really cool study because what this study did is they took a tower garden of kale and an earth garden of kale and a tower garden of basil and then an earth garden of basil. Like, so they, they used a, a few different plants and they did this research. And again, it was the tower garden literally beside the earth garden. They worked with experienced expert farmers using well, growing in ideal conditions, 
Okay, so everything was good. It's like it's, it's like this perfect environment to do this study. And what this study showed was that uh, the produce in the Tower Garden grew 33% faster and had a 30% higher yield, which is like amazing compared to earth gardening, right? Because again, they were literally side by side. What got me really excited though, is the water factor. So 1% of the world's water is actually drinkable. Don't know if you know that. Um, important fact, because when we look out into the ocean or whatever waterway you live uh, by, I live by Kemp and, Fay, Kemp and Felt Bay, which is a pretty big body of water. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's forever. It's not. Actually, water is a limited resource, as is land. And we need to start being more responsible about how we're using this. It's not that we should stop, but just be more responsible, more mindful of, of how we're using our limited natural resources. So I thought, like, the Tower Garden's using 98% less water. That's big. I mean, how if you grow an art garden, you know what I'm talking about when you go out there, because I have a little flower garden in the back of my yard, and I go and I water, and you know what happens? The water runs off down the clay you know between the two home uh, properties right and that's so frustrating because it's like a i'm paying for that water and b what a waste just what a complete waste and then of course because we're growing vertically we're using 90 percent less land so this is great because it gives land a rest so if you don't know what aeroponics is all about, basically tower gardens use an aeroponics growing method. Okay, so it's a it's a type of growing, it's a it's a system, if you will. And it is the process of growing plants without soil. There's no soil in this. This is just air and water. Uh, pretty cool, right? I mean, who would have thought? And if you know, if you've got a tower garden, I would love for you to go in the chat and just say, you know, which one you got? You got a flex or home? And then maybe even how many? Because you know what? When you start seeing how tower gardens work, like I never knew that you could actually grow food that you could eat abundantly with no soil. So again, plants are grown using the nutrient rich solution together in a timed air and water environment. So the, the lights are on a timer, the water's on a timer. Honestly, like we don't do anything. You plant and grow. You plant, grow, eat, plant, grow, eat. Okay, uh, and then aeroponics is efficient because it invites us to grow virtually anywhere and is a more sustainable way of growing food um, than you know anything else really. And it offers, like I said earlier, an opportunity for our land to recover. So I'm in my basement office on the other side of this wall is my Pilates studio. And last winter, I grew my tower garden home in there. And it was so beautiful to grow in there because I've got this green tree providing oxygen in my studio space. The lights are glorious because during the winter time, days are really um, short and they're dark and it's hard, right? Because we want it, we need that natural light to, to help us feel better. And so again, just to cover over, uh, aeroponics, no soil, just air and water, okay? It grows vertically, so we're maximizing that land space and it offers a rest for our earth i know oh it's so important guys like so yes go support your farmer's market buy from your farmer's market what you can't grow yourself um and then of course it's automated so it's really simple it's fun it's easy peasy to use um and i again you know it's kind of like that staples you know that was easy button and that's what we get to do so here's how it looks if you're like wondering how does this thing work how could it work um basically you've got 20 or 30 gallons of water depending on which unit you purchase so the Tower Garden Flex uses a uh, 20 gallon uh, reservoir and then the Tower Garden Home uses a 13 gallon reservoir. The water is pumped up as you can see here it's got a pump in the center. The water is pumped up through the center of the Tower Garden and it's literally showering the roots of the plants that you're growing. That's it. It's a closed system. There's no water that comes out of here and it's again all automated. Lights are on a timer, water's on a timer and this is what it looks like and can I just tell you we don't get to see the roots growing in the, the, the gardens that we grow outside. We miss that, right? Because all you see is what you could see up, up on top. And it's really cool, teachers. It's really cool to be able to see these roots because you can do art with them. I mean, I, I've been able to raise my daughters and we did art with anything. Like, you, know, you know how you go and you buy, you buy leaves. You go out in the forest and you, um, you know, collect leaves and you bring them home and you do all these arts and crafts. You could do this with, you should see how intrinsic the roots are of the plants that we grow. And we miss this with earth gardening. So I think this is like a bonus bonus with the tower gardens. I love this part. It's very, very cool. I get excited about it. I think everybody should, but you know how do you when you don't know what you don't know right 
So benefits of a tower garden. So again, it begins with, you know, growing fresh food quickly. Um, but the thing about the tower garden I, that is, I think, magnified is that it offers a true experiential learning opportunity, right? I mean, I get excited watching my tomato plants, my seedlings, my seeds become seedlings. It's so cool. Like, I, I mean, still, you know, you watch that little seed pop and then it, it's just, you know, a tomato seed has like two leaves that kind of like sprout out, but they stay together by the husk until the husk like breaks off and then, and then it'll hold on to one and then it just hangs on until it absolutely has to let go. And in our world of technology, it's kind of cool to be present and witness things like that because it, it reminds us of our place. You know, like, I think we need that little reminder, of, you know, that the whole, everything is so efficient. We swipe and click whatever we want. It's at our front door the next day. It's awesome, right? But I think we need a little bit more slow living and tower gardens offer that. We're also more invested in it, right? Like if you planted by seed, you're, you're obviously more invested in taking care of that. And, you know, there's a greater appreciation for it. So let's talk about the benefits. Okay. So from an individual point of view, cost savings, hands down. And as I said earlier, you know, in the beginning, it was like, yeah, sure, you know, you'll save some money because you would save some money with a tower garden. But now uh, you're putting money back in your pocket with a tower garden, pretty much. Uh, and that's pretty cool because there's a lot of people right now who aren't eating green foods because they cost too much. And that's not cool because you know what? There's a health impact to that. And now there's the, the greater um the greater impact, which is, you know, our, our medical system, listen, our, our health is our responsibility. So we need the green stuff. So however you need to get the green stuff in your body, you know, do it. Um, access to fresh chemical free food. I, you know, I don't know, we, we shouldn't have to, you know, have people who don't have access to food. That's the way I think, you know, we all should have access to fresh chemical free food and so tower gardens literally do that you, you're growing food in your house in your kitchen basement I don't care where you grow just grow food okay and you know when you think about the tower gardens um you have control over the seeds you are controlling when you harvest it's live food like it's literally like you're picking off your kale or your you know your swiss chard for your um your your shake in the morning it's literally living food growing in, or going into your body and again, don't you think that's going to have a health impact? Don't you think that's going to, you know, impact how you show up in your day to day? Of course it is. And then the positive health impact. So like I said, you know, we, it's kind of old news. You just, you're, you're eating well, you're living well. It's also, I think, a higher vibration of, of, of living because of that, that appreciation part. I am a big believer in, you know, being grateful for what we have. And, you know, when, when you start to kind of um, see, um, you know, what you're investing in, in growing into your, your tower garden, right? Like you plant a seed for your lettuces or your herbs or your tomatoes. And you're like, you know, I, I, I'm going to enjoy this because I grew this right. Um, not noted here is the, the less uh, food waste, which is a really big deal because how often do we throw food away um, that we purchase at the grocery store because it is not as tasty or fresh or whatever the issue is. Unfortunately, you know, the food at the grocery store at best is about a week old. <laughs> and that's, I think I'm being very generous there. Okay, let's talk about environmental impact. So again, we're using that 98% less water. That's awesome. That's, that's so much bigger, guys. It's bigger than any of us and that should matter to everybody. Reduced agricultural stress. So again, we're allowing our, the land to rest. We're allowing the land to recover, you know, like just continuing the, the farming practices that we have today is just really harsh. We need to protect what we have. And then abundant, fresh grown food food truly grown locally right so tower to table um and uh, it just feels really good to do that so bigger impact now let's kind of expand our mind we now have an increased awareness and understanding of our food system so you know what it takes to grow a tomato or a pepper or a watermelon i'm growing watermelon right now you know how expensive watermelon is right now it, watermelon is about $12. I saw it in my grocery store and I was like, what? That is crazy. $12. I mean, that's a staple for families where kids are running around in the sun and having fun. And you're like, I'll just grab a watermelon and feed it to them. And now it's like, whoa, that's an expensive food. When did that happen? 
raising standards of uh, our growing practices, making sure that they're ethical. So this is a big impact that's had on our family. Uh, this is near and dear to my heart. Like, like I said, my daughters were six and nine when we purchased ours, uh, our first tower garden, and now they're 17 and 20. And oof, they are advocates. And I am so proud that they, well, they've learned, um, they're curious, they, they, uh, they root in, pardon the pun, they root in to good. And they do so confidently because they understand. This is like, this is what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's not just about fresh food. So I'm, I'm super um, grateful for that part of the Tower Garden journey for our family is just what it's done for our family to um, think twice about what we're supporting. When we put down a dollar, you got to know that that's your vote, okay? That is a more uh, valuable vote than what you, you know, put on the ballot box, just saying, okay? Like the things we choose to buy, we're supporting the, the, the growing practices of it, um, who is growing it, how, all of that. And so, you know, when we are able to understand, then we can make better choices. And so again, the Tower Garden is a learning opportunity. And then a shift in consumer habits because we do have a better understanding. So again, you know, like there are certain things that our family won't buy because we don't wanna be a part of that system. We don't want to support the way that, you know, this particular, whatever it is, right? Because this applies to more than just food. And that's a really great thing because I personally believe we need more of that in our world today. I think we all need to become more conscious in our consumer habits. Okay, let's talk about the Tower Garden Kit. So you get, you are ready to grow food with your Tower Garden Kit. Everything comes. So you can see you've got your Tower Garden. Um, this is your pump, your timer, your 20 rock wool, which is, we don't use soil, right? So uh, the rock wool is our in our. our uh, it's like a moot. It's a. It's it's literally just a growing medium for your plants. Um, you've got your tonic A and B, which is here. This is your plant food. Your net pots. Your, your seeds, um, and then your tray. But let me go back to the seeds for just a second. Um, Non-GMO seeds. If you wanted to, you know, know more about our company, if you're brand new and you're like, you know, what's this juice plus company about or what's this tower? Like, who are these people? Uh, that says right there. When you see non-GMO seeds, that is who we are because that is our belief. And I am so proud that, you know, this is a, a product that is made in the USA and that we use clean non-GMO seeds. Like, like, oh, I, I get excited about this because this says who we are in our character. Okay. Uh, purchasing a tower garden, I just want you to know that you are not alone. We have comprehensive resources available to everybody. We've got great websites, uh, Facebook group, YouTube video, of course, your, you know, your tower garden partner who's going to help support you along the way. Uh, it's just, you become a part of the community, actually, and that's really cool because it's kind of like your, your tower garden family. Okay, so let's talk numbers here. So um, this is your Tower Garden Flex and this is your Tower Garden Home. So let me go through here. So your Tower Garden Flex uses a four by four space. It's a little bit bigger than the home. Uh, your add-ons are the extension, which gives you eight extra pods. You've got a cage that goes on that, which I don't have in this picture here, but your cage is important because it's gonna support your peppers, your tomatoes, your kale even, because everything grows big, okay? And uh, you've got your lights here, which are gorgeous lights, like I said, in my basement, we grow our home during the winter and those lights while I'm doing my yoga or Pilates, I love it. I love it because it's like they're happy lights. People buy those those seasonal lights in Costco or wherever. Well, with the tower garden, you just put it in your kitchen and you are good to go. Uh, and then of course you can add some wheels on the tower garden uh, flex as well. Now, moving over to the tower garden home. Now, th these are my Lululemon pants and this is my little black dress. That is how I categorize these two things. And like I said, we've got four flexes in one home and the Tower Garden home is great. It's beautiful. I think they're both a work of art, but I could see where the Tower Garden home might win some extra points on this one. It's sleek, it's slender. Um, and then you've got 16 regular micro, or sorry, uh, pods here and then 16 micro greens at the top. It uses only a three by three space. So really like a chair. <laughs> if when people say, well, I don't really have space. Um, I just told you all the reasons why tower guns are like really valuable. So we all have a corner in our house that has 
I don't know. There's got to be a some, some place in your. That's how I look at it. Because here's the thing: this is going to put money back in your pocket in terms of food, but it's also going to do so much more about your your level of awareness. So to me, uh, I'm like, make the space, get rid of the old chair, or get rid of something. Um, okay, and then it also comes with a water level monitor, and the wheels are automatically attached. This so the only add-on that you're having to um, purchase with the Terragon Home is your lights. So again, we already talked about that. Both units can grow inside and outside. I want you to know that. Now, Tower Garden Home, uh, because it's th that sleeker model, if it is growing outside, I would encourage you to bring it in closer to the house on windy days. Um, I just found it a couple of years ago that we live in Tornado Alley after a tornado went through. So, you know, you want to keep that the Tower Garden Home in a little closer because it is a little bit more um, uh, narrow, right? Tower Garden uh, Flex, what we do, if you live in a windy area, um, you could throw some rocks right on that flat surface because this is flat. And I, I'm a very practical person. So, um, you know, whatever your, your preference is here, um, but I love, I, to me, I'm a, I'm a Tower Garden Flex girl. Um, again, both come with programmable water and light timers. So you need to decide what your needs are and what space you have. Both are incredible, both grow the same way. They have the same concept at the end of the day, it comes down to um, size and what you really want to grow. Okay, so here are the prices. Um, tower garden home now. So this is what I call a winter tower garden, okay? This is my tower garden in our kitchen. And it's got the wheels. It's got the basic tower garden. And it's got the extension plus the lights in the cage, okay? So you can see all that. That um, that tower garden, a basic tower garden flex is 810. But when you add everything on here, it comes to $15.99. And I forgive me, but I feel like the $15.99 does not include um, the, the wheels. So um, so anyway, so this is the I love this is a winter unit. If you're like, I want to grow food this winter, this is your this is your unit right there. Um, if you want to do the monthly installment costs, uh, it starts at $67.50 for that basic unit. But again, please reach back to your Tower Garden partner. Have the conversation about what it looks like for you. Tower Garden Home, again, this is mine in my yoga studio. Look how pretty that is because it even has a heart because love. All right. So uh, a Tower Garden Home, the... Uh, the monthly, tw sorry, the 12 month interest free installment payment plan is $72. Like seriously, that is so, so affordable. Um, and it starts at 870 with the add on uh, being the light. So in total, you're paying 1286. So you got to figure out what your needs are. They're both amazing. They're both gorgeous. They both grow food. And there's some US numbers for our US friends. So it starts at 670 for the Tower Garden Flex. Uh, 5583 for the basic monthly. And if you're doing everything here, it comes to 1300 paid in full or 108 on that interest rate payment plan. Tower Garden Home starts at 725, um, 8750 on the interest free payment plan and uh, or one $1,050 paid in full. Okay, common FAQs, what can I grow? You can grow anything that's not a tree, bush, or root vegetable, okay? But now, having said that, I have friends who've grown beets in their tower garden. Uh, I personally have grown fennel in my tower garden. So, you know, here's the thing. It's your tower garden. You can have fun with it. You can explore and experiment. I mean, I am an official seed collector. I have so many seeds because when we first purchased ours, my girls were like, let's grow everything. So that's what we did. And we had fun growing and learning. And, you know, it's 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 like earth gardening. You, some things are going to work and some things are going to be like, you know, OK, let's try a different alternative. So, um, yeah, it's just a great opportunity to try growing. And that's what I always say. Stephen Ritz actually says it best, you know, just put a seed in the ground. That's what this is about. Uh, two where do I buy seeds? So remember, with your Tower Garden kit, you get everything you need to start growing right away. However, you will become a seed collector because you're going to find things that you want to grow that are become your favorite foods, right? And I would say that that's the place you should start, by the way, if you're like, well, what should I grow? Grow what you like. If you love basil, grow an abundance of basil. If you don't like cilantro, then obviously you're not going to grow cilantro, right? So um, seeds are included in your Tower Garden kit, but there's online stores. Um, my favorite is West Coast Seeds. Um, I love that store for my seeds. And then if I can't find there, because I'm a Canadian, 
but hold on, because if you're in the US, if I can't find what I need in uh, Canada, I love Johnny Seeds. So there's two recommendations there. If anybody has any others, feel free to throw it in the chat there. Um, but there's lots of places that you can get your seeds. Three is the tonic organic. The tonic, the, so the tower green tonic is the plant food. It's liquid form and it's an ionic blend of earth and sea minerals. So it's clean, my friends. Um, how many plants can I grow? So as I shared, Tower Garden Basic Flex grows 20. Add on the extension, you've got eight more for 28 plants in total. And then at Tower Garden Home grows 32 plants. So you got 16 regular and then 16 microgreens. Have the conversation, figure what you need and what you want. Um, do I need lights to grow? hundred percent you're going to need lights to grow because if you're growing food it's funny because i just uh sold the tower garden this morning and they started off with a little arrow garden and then they realized well like we kind of want to grow food for our family like this just isn't enough to sustain you know the food uh requirement for our growing family and so hence the tower garden they purchased but that's how I always approach the tower garden with the lights is in fact here in Can they didn't even have lights for tower gardens initially and it was us Canadians that were like okay hold on if you're not going to give us lights then we're just going to go and do some mock makeup and we did like I was one of those people that bought some lights and I just hooked it onto the cage and you know then you know they the company realized that okay hold on like you know these people are serious people want to grow year round inside let's do it and so now we've got these amazing led lights i love they're like medusa because you can move them all around you can open them up for when your plants get big you can close them so when they're tiny still like they're so great and like i said our tower garden is in the kitchen during the winter and i love it i put it right beside my cooking space because the light that it gives while i'm i love light like i i need i'm not somebody who could sit in the dark so i love that i get such bright light with my food prep because my tower garden lights are right there. Uh, and if you do wanna maximize your harvest, you do need lights. I don't care what window you're putting it beside. Windows are treated for uh, the UV coating. So you, you want lights on yours so that you're gonna get the maximum growth. And then how long does it take to grow and eat from the tower garden? So every plant has its own you know, growing tendencies. Your herbs, your lettuces, your shards, they grow really well and they grow pretty fast. So you're usually eating between I would say four and six weeks of planting a seed. All right, so that's pretty cool. Um, and if you're looking at things like tomatoes and cucumbers, they take longer. It's a flowering plant, it requires pollination, which is amazing as teachers or homeschoolers. So, you know, even for my, my uh, new customer today, she has young children and I was like, plant a tomato plant plant a cucumber just because it's fun because when you got to plant when you have to pollinate the flowers you get to chat with your children about bumblebees and there's another you know door opener of big conversation that we need to be talking about right it's all awareness so yeah so those those uh flowering plants are going to require more time but your lean your greens are like they grow really quickly and if you are growing a tower garden and if you are new to it this year I want to encourage you keep it lean and green do a salad tower do a juicing tower you know what next spring when you're ready to bring it outside throw on the pumpkins and the watermelons and the tomatoes and squashes and everything but inside keep it really simple because you're going to have a great successful year of growing food enjoying that fresh food and it'll build your confidence so that by the time you bring it back outside you'll be like okay Let's have some fun with this and you can explore different seeds. So as I said earlier, tower gardens are made in the USA. They are also made with a UV stabilized food grade safe plastic. And that's very important. Super short story. When my youngest was an infant, so she's 17 now, my husband, I really wanted a garden, didn't know anything about it, but I wanted a garden. So my husband was really great. He went out and he, he built the garden. I had woken up from a nap with Claire. I walked outside and he was so proud to share with me the garden. And I looked and I said, is that pressure treated wood? <laughs> and it was, he had to pull the whole thing and it was very expensive. And that we had two dogs that, you know, got in like, so it was just, you know, what you grow your food in will grow into your food. So it matters, my friends, you know, plastic buckets, you just don't want to use anything. It really, really matters what you're growing your food in. Okay. And that's a whole other big conversation that I don't want to dive into, but keep it simple. And here you go. If you're like, well, how much food does it really grow? Check it out. So this is like my, this is in 2021. This was on the other side of that tower garden that I shared with you earlier. This is crazy. This is, a, the thing about this plant was, it's all tomatoes. 
I couldn't believe every time I, I was like digging in there, I would find another batch and another batch. It was endless. I was like, when does this stop? Like my kids, we were all eating off of that all summer long. And this was at the time when we were harvesting. And I was like, I can't believe this is just, it's not stopping to grow. Like there's just, it's, I mean, you can even see there, there's some green ones in there. It was endless. It was beautiful. Uh, we made a lot of salsas that, that summer and uh, we love tomatoes, obviously, but look at this abundance. I had to give it away. We just, there was so much and it was uh, like amazing. And these are heirloom tomatoes right there too, by the way. So remember I told you we like to do different seeds. So if you're wondering, does it really grow a lot? It sure does. And so if you've got a bigger vision of what's you know possible, we have amazing tower garden communities that are popping up all over. Um, so I would encourage you again to have that conversation with your friend. And then two perspectives, one looking down, this is the tower garden home inside. And you can see how gorgeous those seedlings are and then the square uh, microgreen pods and then growing up. And again, this is inside friends, I'm growing peppers there. And you know, it's, it's really simple. It's really, it's not rocket science even though it is science, but listen, I can go on forever. I love talking about tower gardens because they literally have changed our families. Um, way of living and thinking and being and interacting and uh, contributing to our world today. And my hope is that you are, um, that I've, I've tweaked your, your interest to learn a little bit more about what this is possible for you or maybe your friends or your family. And, you know, I really believe that, um, and I'm going to stop sharing here for a second. I really believe that um, tower gardens are um, the new kitchen appliance. Um, that, you know, you're, we're going to see people switching up microwaves and barbecues uh, for these, you know, these things. And it's not just walking into your fridge anymore and looking for food. It's actually walking to your tower garden for food. So I'm going to stop the recording and answer any questions that we have here. Thank you so much for plugging in, everybody. Um, I'll be right back to answer those questions. <laughs>